In this video, I play a set versus a USDA 4.5 player. But there's a catch. I'm not allowed to hit winners. The reason for this is to show you guys how to manage playing players who are below your level, who often amateurs drop to their level and have a harder time. So during the set, I'm mic'd up, I'm going over my strategy, my decision making, just to show you guys my approach to playing players uh, who are below my level. So the next time you go play someone below your level, uh, you don't make silly errors and things that tend to make the, the match more difficult than it should be. Player I played against, his name is Winston Du. He actually has a YouTube channel, I'll leave a link down below. He doesn't know I'm not allowed to hit winners. So you guys will see that the pressure that he feels is actually different than the pressure I'm trying to apply. It's kind of funny. And at, after the set, we actually chat um, about my strategy and all that stuff. So make sure you go, you watch all the way through the end because um, we have a nice conversation. So let's go to the set and make sure you listen to the things that I'm talking about in between points. So don't skip through the, those dead moments of the video. Let's go. All right, guys, so like I said in the intro, I'm gonna play this set trying not to hit any winners, okay? My goal is to not hit, one second. Uh, my goal is to not hit any winners. You see these red lines right here? I'm gonna use them as targets and I'm gonna play very, very like safe, big targets, hitting my shots, but what he wants right now, it's, it's free points. He wants me to make mistakes. And in the beginning of the set, I'm not gonna give anything. Um, so just pay attention on how I can rush him and actually make him make mistakes without um, actually having to go for winners. This is how I approach playing guys lower level. Okay, there we go. All right, let's do it. Okay, so it's good that we have the, the, the red lines here so we can actually see my targets. Well, that's a good start. Nice, great serve. And for the most part, I'm gonna put pressure in different ways here. See, not gonna do much. Oh. See, I'm not taking this, the, the, the returns too, too early. There's no reason for it. And I mean, there's no reason for me to take like unnecessary risk when I know I'm the more consistent player, right? Obviously here, the level difference is really big, but even if you're playing someone like a little bit below your level, nope, that's key. I'm gonna play this entire point just hitting through the middle. Watch it out. Give him no angle. See, like, wanted to force something there from the middle. <clears throat> so just the idea that I'm more consistent puts a lot of pressure on him. So that's all the pressure I need. I don't need to, you know, make silly errors or anything like that. Here we go. One's there. Uh, good ball. There you go. That's totally fine. Didn't move my feet there. Move your feet. Nothing I could do there, I had to put it away. And you see how the other shots pretty much aim in the middle of the court. You guys miss wide too much, amateurs. You guys doesn't go for wide way too often. Pay attention to how I can actually move him without actually going for the corners too.
And then you can loosen up a bit. Ah. Is that in? That was a good shot, sorry. I don't know if you could hear what he said, but he says he feels pressure that I'm gonna crush the ball. And you see how like he's putting a pressure that I don't really, I'm not even thinking about, right? He, he's putting his own pressure thinking I'm gonna rip a bunch of balls where I'm only trying to keep the ball deep deep not even moving the ball that much you see how mental this can be there we go three there ah. yeah. pretty good no i think you expected a bigger serve and my serve was kind of short uh, kind of uh slow you actually just caught it in front of you split step and stay mobile on the return don't you get stuck on the ground if you get stuck on the ground you, you're only going to return the perfect serve to you. You're not going to be able to actually go to the, the ball. You got to split step and keep m moving to it. All body here. I want four and arrows out. Yeah. Oh, get a back end, Karu. Okay. Trying to go for something there. To... Yes, actually, it was a good opportunity for him to attack. But you see how I've created all this pressure on his head that he needs to do this amazing thing. Play the ball a little higher now. Put some high pressure. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Ah, good try. But I'm gonna stay the course. Win with your legs. I think a lot of people want to win with their their strokes. In with your legs, moving, staying solid, keeping the ball deep. Ah, good point. Just didn't accelerate that one. And again, you got to keep hitting your shots. Like that mistake is just me. Like I just want to make the ball and then I don't hit it. So you got to hit them. I'm not going to like just baby them to the other side. So you got to hit them. It's into a big target. Good point. That was a good point by him. Moves me around. No reason for you to change down the line. If you don't change down the line with quality, it's the easy shot for me to just go big cross court. Right? That's not to say you're going down the line is great. You have to. But especially at your level, like, you, it's, it's tricky, especially at your level, you've got to make sure it has quality. You know, pros, they defend a little bit more down the line, this day is different. But at your level, it's like you dominate the cross, and then you have easy balls down the line, you know? Yeah, you got to choose the, the right ball, you know? Choose the ball. Like, if you can't really do much with the ball, just keep the ball in play. Keep the ball deep. No need to, like... Just making me run doesn't necessarily put you in an advantage. Yeah. 
you know what I mean? Sometimes it's like you, maybe more depth, all that kind of stuff. Like just making me go a few steps each way, especially as guys get fast and stuff, you might just be opening an angle. Go down the line, I get to here, and I see that cross court, you're done, you know? Here we go. Uh, five, right? Middle. Yeah. Middle again. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. High. Yeah. Yeah. How many of those? There you go. If he was really paying attention, he would see that I missed three of those. That's the pattern right now. Do I find it? My back end is not great today. One winner to finish it up. Woo! Right? Yeah. All right, let's get Winston here. See if he caught on to what I was trying to do. All right, so we're at the end of the set here. Um, as you guys know in, in the intro, um, my goal was to play this set without actually hitting a winner. Okay, so oh. did you pick up on this? I noticed you were kind of looping the balls and playing yeah. more consistent, yeah. not like putting away balls. So yeah. indirectly, I did. Yeah. What do you want on that side? I'm going to assume is a bunch of free points. You want to hit a first serve yeah. and me like make the mistake. The free points are going to like be the thing that you you're striving for, yeah. and I don't want to give that to you. Yeah. I want to just be. I'm going to be consistent. Um, you know, I was trying to play within those like red lines. Okay. So make the court very small, uh -huh. um, and just be extra consistency uh, consistent especially in the beginning when things are kind of even yeah. um maybe like if you're feeling a little nervous something like that and i'm gonna like pounce on that get a good lead and then after that it's just kind of you know it's, i can loosen up start going for more winners which i didn't i think it makes sense like to not outstretch yourself yeah and like not show off have yeah. that show off mentality yeah. against someone weaker than you so. yeah exactly and, and that's kind of the point that i wanted to demonstrate i think we, we get comments about that stuff like you know people playing having trouble playing like someone was a pusher someone was like lower level whatever it is right and at the end of the day like at most levels besides maybe the pros but even the pros like top pros consistency is the number one priority right like being able to keep the ball in play and then even in a point like that last point was really tough was a tough point if I lose that point I'm totally okay with it because in my mind I'm like okay he's gonna think that he needs to work that much to win a point yeah like there's no way He's, he's going to actually believe that he can do that for an entire match. Yeah. And that's sort of the idea. I think that last point was a really good example of being consistent because, like you said, you just kept the point going, and then I was about to pass out because yeah. I was so tired. <laughs> like, if that was the first point of the match, that playing yeah. against that much consistency, I can't imagine, like, keeping that yeah. stamina and effort going yeah. for the whole match. Exactly. See, like, I'm trying to get in his head. It's not a tennis part, tennis game at this point, right? It's a tennis match. It's like, oh, I have a better forehand or backhand. It's really not about that. It's me going with the mindset is like right in the beginning, even if I lose some of those games, like obviously if I'm playing someone a bit higher at your level who serves a bit better and, you know, he's keeping me, you know, 1-1, one, 2-2, one, two, two, whatever, but I'm making him work the entire time. I'm like, 
this guy has to work for every point. I'm making all the returns. I'm keeping the ball in play. Um, again, my goal was to have like one of those points early on okay. that you'd just be like, oh. That's my fault. I kept missing too much. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's totally fine. But, it, you know, it's just an idea. And this, you know, it happens at every level. It's like, okay, this, my level compared to his, but then his level compared to someone lower than him. It's just kind of the same idea where you want to be consistent. Again, I was, there was plenty of balls, like you said, like I could have gone for and, 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 and done more with it. But um, the idea was like, I wasn't going to stretch myself because I didn't need to. Um, and you obviously, obviously you're going to have to play into the level. Like some guys, obviously you can just like baby into the other side. They will start playing well. You don't want to make your opponent play better. That's also a fine line. But just to, to show that like I, I wanted to get in his head. I wanted him to start going for shots that like probably wasn't that comfortable. Um, because he thought he, he, in his head maybe like, you tell me, but maybe like you're like, I need to do more. I need to, I need to create more because otherwise, if I just push it back, he's gonna dominate, yeah. right? Yeah. And and that's kind of the idea here. But you tell me, like, what were the thoughts that you're having? Uh, I agree with everything you said. Yeah. I thought maybe like you could use this kind of mentality and drill in a real match by like starting off consistent. Yeah. Then once you maybe settle in a bit, yeah. get some rhythm, then go for some more shots. Yes. And if you make them keep going, if you yeah. start missing them, go back to like just exactly. Keep the going. There you go. That's yeah. kind of the idea where like I'm gonna start that way. Realistically, uh, if I got the three zero two breaks, I would have started going for a little bit more. Maybe getting to the net a bit more, shorten up the points a bit. Like okay, I want to get get out of here fast. Um, you know that that's that's an idea, but then all of a sudden maybe I start doing that, I start making mistakes, yeah. and I bring the guy back, back in. Good. You can get back, get to the consistency, and you again. I, uh, being a good hitter doesn't make you a good player, right? You have to be able to play the match, play the moments well. It's like oh, I'm gonna go for for certain shots uh, that I truly think I can go in the tough moments, um, but also you know I'm going to just manage it and keep the ball in play. I, you know you don't have to do so much with the ball so often, right? Yeah. And I think the main thing for you, for you here, it's obviously it's depth, right? The more you can get get the ball deep. If I'm playing from behind the baseline, I feel a little bit more, a bit more pressure, right? Yeah. And you know, you did it a couple couple there that I made made, made the mistake with the back end. But um, besides that, that's kind of like how I approach playing, you know, someone below my level yeah. in the beginning, and and then just kind of work my way into good confidence. Yeah, yeah, yep. which is something I think for a lot of amateurs, like sometimes yeah. can be a struggle. Yeah. I think it's a great uh, mentality to have. Yeah. Didn't realize that's what you're doing. Yeah. I do. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. No. I, you know, I, w I wanted to try it. I didn't want it to tell you just yeah. so you wouldn't like, um, like be ready for it. Um, I feel like if you told me, I would just start lobbing. Yeah, exactly. Because you're not going to hit a winner. Yeah, I'm not going to hit a winner, right? <laughs> so, yeah. But in that situation, it's like you, you didn't really know. I was playing pretty safe and I knew even if I lost some of those points, I'd be making you work. Yeah. And I don't know if you'd have it in you to work that much to. Yeah. For, for each point. Yeah. yeah. Probably not today. <laughs> <laughs> well, great stuff. Thanks for, for coming to the channel. Yeah. Also, check out his channel. Um, he, he's going to post another set that we played together. I actually went full out on that one. Um, and yeah, well, let's uh, keep growing this YouTube community. Check my channel out. Check out uh, my tennis stage here. Subscribe to both of us. Yeah, there you go. 